on things uh, when I was speaking earlier, but uh, let me start from the beginning so that we are clear as what we are doing. Uh, National Language Translation Mission was announced by Honorable Finance Minister about two years back, and uh, it was basically put up as a program which was end-to-end -end for translation, and the idea was to actually, as I said, transcend the language barrier. Towards that, you know, since AI was adopted as the base technology, what we tried to do is to, and base technology was as the point at that point of time in the research lab what we try to do is to tap into the all the ai expertise and that too in the voice domain or data domain across the country and those were primarily residing in the uh, educational institute across the country we identified and roped in about 70 odd research institutes across the country which included all the IITs, many NITs, private institutes, etc. We had the problem statement, as I said, uh, what we solved, automatic speech recognition, text-to-text -text translation, text-to-speech uh, translation, optical character recognition. So we divided all these problems into eight buckets uh, and divided these 70 institutes, encouraged these 70 institutes to form consortiums and they had eight consortiums which worked upon. These eight consortiums were, uh, you know, curated and given those problem statements to solve. So this is one of the largest initiatives of having the research institutes come together to solve a problem which has been about age old for us. Language has not been a problem today. It is an age old problem. And successfully then bringing research to the market is what they what, uh, you know, each of the institutes were supposed to do is to create AI models. We also recognized the problem which was there about the data. The digital data was not available to train the AI models. So we have, we had a specific project to collect the data and build the data uh, from scratch, you know, digital data from scratch. And towards that, uh, one of the institutes was given this problem, and all institutes have been contributing to it. We would have spent about $8 million to collect the digital data alone to train the models. And, uh, you know, most of these models, as well as the data, has been open sourced. The uh, next version was that this, all the AI models have been created. What to do next? You know, the AI models were brought into a platform called National Hub of Language Technology from where these AI models are rendered as a service. And the rendering of this as a service would mean that there are API calls through which you can inference these models, take, uh, put up an inferencing note on these models, and get the translations done online on the fly. Right? Current level of uh, compute technologies allows us to do that, and we are fortunate to be living in this era, and this will only improve, always improving the uh, angle which is there. What was also done was that, uh, you know, we created, worked on creation of applications, as I talked about, and those applications are related to now, related to the knowledge, uh, knowledge or information culling out from the database which is there, which is primarily related to chatbot, and the Gen AI component also helps in that particular fashion, but of course we need to have reasoning and grounding around it. So those are some things which we are currently working upon. Over a period of time, you will see a lot of such features, and as I said, voice and speech, uh, document translation, video translation, website translation are low-hanging fruits, you know, which is anyway has to be done. But what our focus is on speech and voice-to-voice -voice communication, because that's where we feel inclusivity and empowerment would come. And when we focus on speech, we would perhaps be able to solve the underlying problem of textbook translation, video translation, document translation, anyways on the way. <laughs> so, you know, Honorable Prime Minister experimented with this technology in Varanasi uh, when he, you know, the setup was that he was speaking in uh, Hindi. And there were 250 Tamil students who were provided the head 
Fred phone, he had come from Tamil, uh, Tamil Nadu. And the rest of the people were hearing in English. So mic output was going across to all the people, while as the headphone operations were going to the students and Mr. Annamalai, who was sitting on the uh, dais. The same was tried in Smart India Hackathon, uh, where he interacted with this. And same will be tried today in uh, Kelo India, where he would be trans you know, we would be having almost an open broadcast on the translation. There is always a chance of improvement or opportunities for improvement in, you know, uh, AI algorithms uh, and AI models. The second thing which is also important is that there is AI technology has democratized so much that, you know, if uh, today a lot of students come to me and they say that they have developed the AI model for X language and we welcome them with open hands. One thing which we have to realize is that we are looking at aggregating all the expertise in the language domain within this umbrella of Bhashani, right? And uh, uh, there is nothing which is like a competing technology here because the problem is so vast that everybody needs to put their hands together and channelize the things towards the right direction. We also are looking at the domain organizations, including all the domains which are sitting out here, you know, including the defense organizations and others. For all of us, language is an important part where the glossary differs. You know, there are words in uh, uh, legal domain which are different than what is there in PIM, PIVIN domain. Credit will be known as different in normal spoken English that I'm, uh, you are, I'm giving you a credit for doing this versus a credit in financial domain, which is a different uh, subject altogether. A cell, even in education, a cell in history is different from a cell in biology, is different from a cell in mathematics. So the language is a vast problem and it requires domain organizations to work together with us to make the solution perfect. And the idea of, uh, you know, coming out with all the things which we are doing, we have developed the expertise and hopefully if we work together, we would be reaching and making this technology perfect where, you know, we would be in a position to offer the child learning, education, innovation, collaboration without being dependent upon uh, what we had heard in past and I referred to it, that you need to learn another language to actually bring out your creativity and your knowledge. Thank you.